The Fleming Mills learning style has been identified also as the VARC learning style. And we're going to take a moment to really look at how each of these learning styles are going to take in information, how they study best, and even some best ways to really assess the knowledge for each of these learning types. As they take in information, the digital learner, which is a reading writing learner, is going to really list, they like to outline, they really are going to look at studying outlines or headings right at the beginning of any kind of textbook. They easily assimilate knowledge in handbooks, outlines, um, manuals, textbooks, any kind of books. They love lectures. They're going to take excessive amount of lecture notes, and they do very well in writing essays. While the auditory learner is more interested in attending lectures and study sessions. So a great option for this kind of learner is more of a group complex situation where you can sit down and discuss things within a group or a study group. You want to be able to discuss the object or topics and not just with other students having a instructor there as well helps they like to explain their new concepts to others so an idea to be able to gain information for them would be to use a recording device of some kind also use mnemonic devices for the visual learner they like to underline highlight anything that shows symbols uh, flow charts graphs pictures graphic organizers are wonderful this type of learner they like to spatially arrange their concepts on a page and they're going to study textbooks diagrams. They tend to also be able to quickly recall how an instructor was standing their gestures and even their mannerisms associated with the information they were giving at the time. While the kinesthetic learner uses all of their senses and they are very hands on. So you want to be able to give them information through uh, laboratories and field trips, exhibits, tours, anything that's going to stimulate their learning. Um, you want to involve as many senses as possible. So real life applications, examples, trial and error, any kind of procedural thing is really going to help for them. And a great way to take in information for them is also to study prior exams, assignments, and even papers. Matching the method of studying with the learner personality aids in retaining the information and helps the student to really scaffold that information and build it into existing schemas within their mind. So for that digital learner, you want to take your text and you want to outline it and create notes from it. Make sure that you highlight your text and you create any kind of thing in there that's really going to help you to assimilate the information. One thing you can do is take that formal language and rewrite it into a more conversational tone, rephrasing those key ideas and concepts. Also, take your visual and your action information and write them out. Create them into something that is more word oriented. For auditory, you want to be able to expand your notes by discussing them. Speak out loud. If that requires that you talk out loud to yourself, don't worry about that. Um, be sure to summarize your notes for verbally. Also, organize some kind of discussion group with other people. Make sure that you do stay on topic, but help yourself to remember by reading aloud. While the visual learner is going to condense their notes into more graphic organizers, tables, charts, graphs, diagrams, pictures, maps even, anything that is going to create and make that visual aspect. We want to take anything that was an auditory or a written thing and move it into something that is more picture format. We want to redraw things and we want to replace words with symbols. While the kinesthetic learner needs to have application, real life examples, take the summaries in your textbook or from your notes and rewrite them into a um, example of some kind. How can you practically apply it? Be sure that you talk to your professor or your teacher and ask them what is the practical application for that. Make ways or institute ways that you can use hands-on experience such as field trips or exhibits, tours, films, simulations, anything to that way so that you're able to recall the reactions and the information. Looking at the assessment, we realize that the digital learner really is going to do quite well within something with a traditional exam, such as a multiple choice exam. Um, even essay questions are going to do very well. However, you want to make sure that you really 
pay attention to how you arrange your words, make sure that you point out patterns, use your ability to pull out patterns to your advantage. Also, look over past exams. That's going to help you to study. An auditory learner needs to process verbally. So get an old exam and answer it. Be sure that you answer it out loud, speak it out loud, talk out loud. As you take the exam, process it out loud, but in your mind, right? You want to be able to have a discussion with yourself. And in some cases, you may be able to actually request an oral exam. Some professors or teachers are going to meet that need. Visual learners are going to need page layouts and diagrams. So take your words and make visuals color, doodle, whatever it takes on the edge of your test in order to be able to recall the information. While the kinesthetic learner needs to do more of a role playing. So take the practice exam and you're going to actually take the practice exam as if it were an actual exam and you'll be recognized and be able to recall that information with greater fluency.